three things uh, all tonight. I'll be talking to you about something that happens to those, but not to a lot of people. As you guys know, I'm a expert in spirits because years ago I did create, I did have my own little camera videos of all my experiences. Well, I want to explain something big to those who have seen spirits, who sense them. This is for those who believe in the paranormal. So those who are not into the paranormal, just go watch something else. For those who believe in paranormal, have dealt with paranormal, enjoy the show. First lesson when it comes to paranormal. When you have this gift, you're excited, you want to tell your family, but there are rules to having the ability. Rule one is, if you want to tell someone about these powers, they'll ask you, is it real or you're just lying? So, the main rule is, if you want them to believe you, you have to prove it. But that is, simply isn't done. Rule two, if you want to tell someone, only tell these abilities to someone who believes in God or who has dealt with paranormal. So only tell this to people who have dealt with paranormal. If they are lying, then you lie. But it's the only way to protect you from this. In all my life, I have dealt with the paranormal. I've dealt with the evil and the good. And it can be all pretty scary. I've seen it happen. If you watch my videos, you'll hear these stories. But I'm not telling you. Just go watch the video. Rule 4. If you do send a spirit in your house, you easily help him or her or it. If it's a lost spirit, you help him or her. If it's an angry spirit, try to calm him or her down. If it's a little child spirit that's lonely and lost, comfort him or her. Help her or him rest in peace. However, there are other dangers in this world you have to watch out. The demons, or should I say, the shadow people. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. The demons are out there being honored by Satan himself to come to the world to either use us or kill us. And as you know, I have dealt with that. You've watched my stories. You've heard of my stories. I can tell you they're all way too scary and dangerous. Because I had a friend who dealt with it too. But I'm not saying anything about their names. Nope. Rule 5. If it's a shadow person you're dealing with, then the only way is you either have to ignore him or get someone to help you. When I was moving out, before we moved out Ocean 14, a friend of mine helped me, got rid of him. You know the story already. And he did a good deed. That was a long time ago. So, the shadow people are as one of the most dangerous ones than what have I faced. The hat man. The hat man is known to be a, a shadow shaped man with a hat on top of his head. It is said that he has the abilities to suck your angry or negative energy. He did that to me, to me and my mom when we were doing school at Ocean 14. We're not living there anymore, and as you can see here, I've lived in a better house. This house is basically paranormal free. I haven't dealt any paranormal stuff. However, it doesn't mean on the road. During the week, I was riding my I was riding the car with my with my friend Miss P and I felt a lot of paranormal activities. For people who got themselves killed in the road when they were walking the street, those who died of sickness, those who died of drink, over drinking, and those who just want to go across the street and get knocked down. I've dealt with a lot of spirits. Spirits can easily come out of the road, like hit, like hitchhiker ghosts, or lost souls who just want to be free. This world is full of things you do not, not understand. For those who think it's, oh wow, it's awesome to see a ghost. No, it isn't. There's no games when you deal with the paranormal. There's no rules. There are rules, but you have to be careful what you deal with. Out there, those are people out there who don't believe in you. Yet you want them to believe, but they can't. So what do you do? You choose either to defend them from the paranormal without them knowing it. That's what I've been doing all my life. I started doing it last year. Since I moved out of Ocean 14, that was mostly around paranormal. 
to the fact that the beach does consider the contact spirits who want to rest in the ocean. Plus, most people die in the ocean. Pray for them. And as soon as I left, as soon as I went to Cape House with my dad, Bilal came to me for help, and I did help him. And the so far, no paranormal stuff has happened here in this house. Only spirits that are around me in my house, in this house, are just my guardian angels protecting me from something different and mysterious. Only spirits I've dealt with were outside on the road. When driving around town with my friend Mrs. P, I sensed them. And remember, it's always good to have one friend out there who believes in you, who have dealt with the same. If they've dealt with the same paranoia as you felt, they'll believe you and they'll be with you 100%. Mrs. P was always uh, making sure that I rest up after I did it. I would help about five or three spirits or four. I'm to ten, and I, and I fell asleep in the car when she was driving me to see my mother. So yeah. You may think having the gift to see spirits, to see the dead, is fun. It's not. It's the opposite. It's bad. Oh sure, you get to see someone you love, and that's like grandmother, grandfather, or mom, or even your pets. But just think about it. Just think about it. What if you saw a demon or shadow person? Think about it. Before wanting this gift, you have to want to. You have to believe in paranormal to deal with it. But if you want this ability, be warned that there are creatures out there that will hurt you, that will torment you, use you, chewed up, spit up bubble gum. Believe me. The spirits I have around me, they're good ones, though. But the ones that I go out sometimes, just... The only way to know also, one more last thing before I end this video. There are the negative ones. The demonic ones. The evil ones. The way to sense them out is if they have a dark, negative energy. That's how you know they're evil. They're out there. For the lost ones, it's either a lost feeling of hopelessness. And the sad ones, same thing, sad memories. But if you sense a spirit that's good, has good intentions, then it's also good. But if you go to a house that's been abandoned, there's spirits in there, saying, GET OUT! Then you better listen to them. You better listen to them indeed. And anyway, have a great Halloween. And everyone, pleasant screams.